We develop innovative solutions to challenges across here within Uganda in the spaces of energy and agriculture mostly. And in energy, we have developed a range of products, one of which is the Maxol cooker, a leading uh, innovation in the clean cooking space. This cooker enables a family to prepare a meal without having to rely on any means of fuel like charcoal, firewood, electricity or gas. Just as long as there was a bit of sunshine during the day, they are able to prepare their meal both day and also night. So we developed this innovation in collaboration with Makere University and we started it in 2021 through a funding of Makere University Research and Innovation Fund Cohort 3 and then we upgraded it a bit to the Maxwell 2 through a funding through, uh, from the Science, Technology and Innovation Secretariat Office of the President. So when I completed my degree in 2018, I looked out for just a simple solution as a young man. How can I be able to prepare my food without having to rely on charcoal? It was dirty. I was just a recent campuser. But then gas was a problem because it was dangerous. If you put it on and you have forgotten to buy an onion, you come back when your house is on fire. So there was a need for a simple, safe, but also one that doesn't emit any CO2 or any fumes within the house so that you could even cook indoors in your single kazigo when all the windows and doors are closed. So I came up with an idea. How about we just use the normal conventional solar that is available in the market and we provide energy that is clean and emission free. So I came up with the idea in 2020 uh, around COVID year. So it was a bit of a hassle in the beginning to get it into a working system because we were scavenging through lots of uh, research papers and theses of other people that have done similar innovations from all over the world. And sadly, no one had done a successful fully solar electric cooker by that time that we knew of. So it was incumbent upon us to work with the youths within the University of Makerere and also to work with the other young minds around within the, within the different suburbs to put our minds together to see how we can trans, trans, transform power from just a single battery and one single solar panel to enable someone just to cook. But it is not a cooker that needs the sun to be able to cook. You do not need to go out into the sun for it to cook, no. You just need to have simple solar panels positioned on the rooftop. The same solar panel you would use for lighting, for watching television, and also for maybe charging your phone. Those are the same panels that we put on the rooftop. And then the same conventional battery as one that could be in your car, but one that is dedicated for solar. So with just these two power sources, our cooker then extracts that power from it. It converts it into a high frequency AC voltage, and then it uses that. It induces a certain magnetic field within a cooking pan, like a saucepan. And then it is that saucepan that generates a lot of heat within a very short time. So eventually, someone can be able to prepare beans where they would take hours to prepare beans on charcoal or any other format. Here it would take very short, a fraction of the time that it would take them to prepare high, long duration uh, meals like beans. So when a user is using it, just go, press a button, put their saucepan on top of the cooker, and then ensure that their saucepan has the food, milk, tea, whatever it is that they want to cook. When it is done cooking, they just press again another button. As simple as that. Currently, in the entire world, we are faced with climate change issues. And one of the biggest contributors for us in Africa is the fumes that are emitted from kitchens at the household level. Whenever someone cooks on firewood or charcoal, they emit a lot of CO2 into the atmosphere. And over a year, that accumulates into significant amounts that are, in, that are so huge that they can swindle the environment, I mean the climate, outside the favor of even our farming regimes. So because of that, there has been a growing interest in uh, trying to inspire innovations that are clean, that are zero emission, to be able to help families keep cooking the way they have been cooking, because you cannot change that about Africa. We, most of us enjoy our meals from home. So we keep cooking within our own cultures, but then we use alternative sources of energy for cooking. <music>